In just a matter of minutes, a man in Denver was beaten, mugged, and his dog stolen. This happened over the weekend, and since then, he's been searching for the dog that he calls his best friend. And tonight, after days of searching, that hard work paid off. Denver 7's Gary Broad has more on the reunion. Posting flyers. We're looking for a black lab. Though. Asking strangers. You want to post someone across the street? Tirelessly looking for his dog, Finn. Hoping it gets my dog back. It's been a difficult few days for Jeremy McIntyre. Honestly, it's been my worst nightmare. McIntyre was visiting Denver from Colorado Springs. Before making the trip back home, he took Finn for a walk. That's when it all went sideways. Next thing I heard was some guy say, like, give me all your stuff. The two were on Colfax near Pearl Street when he was surrounded. From then on, there was probably three or four people behind me, and before I knew it, I got whacked over the back of the head. McIntyre suffered a concussion to go along with the scratches and bruises to his face. And I was kind of just covering my head. But the worst pain came from within because when the beating was over, Finn was gone. McIntyre says a man he believes was watching the fight offered to grab the dog's leash while he was being mugged. And I think that they realized that the cops were going to show up, so I think that's probably why uh, they left with the dog. All night, he walked downtown Denver. After this happened, I felt pretty hopeless and devastated. But it turns out not all hope was lost. I do it, I do it. Because hours after our interview with McIntyre, I love you too. these two separated friends were back together again. Still processing. <laughs> McIntyre says a man was walking to dinner when another man handed Finn over. Asked him basically to take care of him because he couldn't, he couldn't take care of him anymore. And just a short time later, McIntyre was met with a loving embrace that shows how strong their bond really is. I just had to give him a hug and give him some loving, and I didn't think that moment would happen again. In Denver, Gary Brode, Denver 7.